My name is James Ntopai Lwoktuk. I'm the camp naturalist, Samburu Intrapids Camp. Kenyan's Kids on Safari program is actually a program that is meant to actually enlighten or even to open careers that are basically in the conservation world. For us Samburu tribe, we are conservationists by nature. So because now we have a lot of influence from the modern culture, we are a bit afraid we might lose this culture and we still need the wildlife to exist. So Kids on Safari program is actually training the young people to become the nature conservationists. Our main boy is about what's in our backyard, which is a conservation of our wildlife and the opportunity cell that it creates. The kids that are participated in the program, we selected uh, kids from various schools that are actually bordering these conservation areas. A week before the program commenced, then uh, we take the kids for the trainings. The Save the Elephant team, actually, we train the kids, the kids together. They learn how to use as well the cameras, they learn about the skills and actually on photography and even videography, something they have really enjoyed because it was their first time to use a camera. So they were very excited. These kids, because uh, many actually came from the rural areas, the far areas, the most remote areas. They normally see photos in books as well uh, and even like in the pictures and all this, but they have never get the opportunity as well to know how they have been taken. So during the training, they have really learned basics about the photography because they learn about the composition. I learned about the portrait and landscape. We are teaching about timing, focus, light. We learn about to zoom it, to zoom it far or near. Very nice. They even understand about the golden hour and they even realize that actually they can become professions. After the training in Save the Elephant, that's where now we bring, we brought all the kids to Samburu Entropy. We will now give the opportunities for these young people to enjoy what normally guests will enjoy when they come and visit these lodges. We have the camp managers, we have the receptionists, we have the tour guides. They were able to actually realize and see now the opportunities created again by the conservation of all their food. A great example is I myself, because I was in the program long, long time ago. Now so it's actually less than 14 years. Initially, I was saying like, if even I go to school, maybe I can still come back and look after our cows and goats, or go to work in towns. But when I get involved in the program, I realize that actually there are a lot of jobs actually created, not only about like taking care of the livestock, but actually getting involved in the conservation. And now actually I'm working and I'm really very happy. Now actually I normally lecture about the conservation, about the animals of Samburu, Samburu culture. I showed them my photos when I was young in the program now, so I feel they were happy and that many of them promised they will actually get the same route as well. We're able now to also get them involved in the activities, listening to guests as well, being giving talks about the Samburu culture, the Samburu animals, and about the conservation. And also for their first time to swim in a blue water. For example, the name of this river is called the River Ewasonyiro. And uh, Ewasonyiro means a river of brown water, so it's actually muddy water. Sometimes you can swim in these rivers, although there are a lot of crawlers as well. But actually for them, when they swim in the swimming pool, that is in a blue water, if I can say, what they were experiencing, actually, it's my first time to swim in a blue water, so this is really, really actually a good experience for them. It was good. We play 
netball and volleyball and jumping in the water. They also have the and the waterproof cameras so you can take photos here again underwater. He was so excited. The program will give them opportunity to actually uh, now come to closer to this nature. Many of them, it was their first time to go on a safari. To get close to elephant, get close to leopard, get close to lion. And you see many other species. And they're more so actually learning about them because you are there to guide them. To teach them more about the elephants and the lions, so they were so interested actually. It is really, really, really important for them because uh, for them normally when they see elephant and they are hiding their livestock, that's goat, sheep, or even cows. When they see elephant, they normally run out because you know elephants are very dangerous. But when we take them close to the elephant, like just a few yards from them as well, then they found like it's not that actually very dangerous. They realize they are calm animals, only dangerous when they are intimidated. My favorite thing was the elephant. Because elephants are big and they are beautiful and interesting. It is important to pro protect them because other people are going to kill them. I think it is important to protect the animal because they are important from us. They bring us to our rest. And if there is no elephants, I will we cannot have any tourists. It will be quiet, so quiet. The environment will change, so we want elephant because of that. They actually have, they have enjoyed the training and they have actually learned a lot. They will tell their families, they will tell their friends, and then when they realize, they will also tell, so tell a friend to tell a friend. Then the word will actually, the conservation now will be spread all over. I will teach them how to save the animals. I will teach them the, how I learned the photography. I will tell them that one day when they will come here, they will learn more and more. Than me. The program was actually a huge success. <laughs>